Hey guys, Bumfrey Humphrey here. Today, we're gonna be doing a Stranger Things Season 4 review. And of course, no spoilers. So if you haven't watched the show yet, this is the perfect video for you. So first off, we have this character. Um, I forgot this character's name, but uh, one thing I can tell you is that he kills a lot of kids in the show. No spoilers though, but he kills a lot of kids in the show. Also, uh, he looks really weird. Secondly, he turns into this guy. This is the bad guy. This guy and this guy are the same person. What? Also, this guy's weakness is music. I know, right? So cool. If you play Gangnam Style, the monster will lose. You can Gangnam Style on his corpse. <laughs> Next up in my review is a review of this character. Guys, this character is gay. He's gay. This little kid is gay in the show. No spoilers though, but this little kid is gay. Now, I first saw this the very minute the show came out. I came up with this theory on my very own that William here, this character's name is William, is gay. See, look, here was my theory when I first saw the show. I saw that his name was Will. Will has four letters. So does, so does gay. Gay also has four letters. So Will is gay. Some exciting revelations being made here today. Next up, we have this character. We call this character L. Now, L actually grows up in the show and becomes like 30 years older. I know, right? 30 years older. And then there's this whole storyline in the show that, 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 that was like a very small part, but it was a huge part. It was, it was where Drake, the rapper, comes into the show and he begs, he begs Elle to reverse time with their super magical powers and turn right under 17 years old so he could be attracted to her. But little did the little Drakester not know that Elle was actually attracted to Will's gay crush Mike, some dude named Mike. And then, and then Drake felt really sad and wrote a rap song and died. And this is Mike. All right, uh, who else have I not talked about? Uh, oh, oh, this girl. Okay, this girl. This girl is the worst girl. She, she like, she likes a uh, this guy. This guy, but then this guy goes away, and and then she likes she likes, uh, this guy, she likes this guy now. This is honestly the worst character ever. This is the worst representation of 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 any kind I have ever seen in the entire show. Um, I hate this character. I hope this character dies in a hole. And then this group. Oh my god, guys! This group, this group made the most sense out of the entire show. They made the most sense. Apart from this guy, this guy looks like he doesn't belong in this group. But, but, this guy, this guy, when he talked all about Christianity and God and, um, and Christianity in the show, I, it totally made sense with me, especially because I don't believe in any of that stuff. Also, this guy, this guy was like a major part of the show. I don't know if you guys can see this. This guy, this guy was also the actor in the same show known as Sweet Magnolias. He, he was this guy in this show. But well, I mean, I, of course, I never watched the show because it's for little girls. But, but I know, I know that this guy was in this show, and that just makes this show so much better because you know, an Easter egg for all this um, good television watchers out there. Okay, so I'm reading up on some reviews, you know, for this show because I didn't watch half of it. But but I look on IGN's review. One of the first words they say makes you feel like Stranger Things. Well, thanks IGN. I'm glad that it makes you feel like Stranger Things. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the show so far. Um, for what I think will happen in the future, I think the heroes will win. I think that the bad guy will die because the show does not take any risks. So uh, yeah, those are my opinions on the show.